Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. My yacht is your yacht. This is your yacht? That's right. I'm the owner. The captain. El Capitan. That's right, it is Yacht Rock Wednesday. And on this day, I like to do adult contemporary hits from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. And they are normally of a Caucasian persuasion. Now, this next one was like a roulette. And it placed the ball on this particular song. And I had to listen to maybe the first couple of notes. And I was like, oh, I know this song. But I never had heard of the group. And I never knew what the name of the song was. So the name of the group is called The Babies. And the song is called Isn't It Time. Now, this song also came out in 1977. And the thing that I did not know about this is that the lead singer of The Babies is John Waite. And I have done a John Waite song on this channel. I did Missing You, which if you were in 1984 and you heard that song, and there I am again, I'm back in 1984, but if you heard that song, it was all over the radio uh, during that year. Now. So this is 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So this is actually seven years after, uh, Missing You is seven years after this particular song, but before he was in Bad English. I thought that I had done Bad English, but then when I read, uh, got downloaded the video, it said that it was blocked to me, that no one would be able to do it in the way that I do my format. So that's why I haven't done that. So uh, it does say that the song, the lyrics were motivated by Ray Kennedy, a band member, Ray Kennedy's love for a French woman whom he knew during the writing of this song. The other thing on here that I read, it says the strong vocals of the three Babettes from Andre Crouch and the Disciples. If you're black and around my age, you have to know who Andre Crouch is. And he, I believe, if I'm correct, he does gospel music. So if you have some, I'm, I'm sure they're black, I'm almost positive that the singers are black, uh, but if you have black female singers that were part of a choir singing with Andre Crouch, it's going to add a little bit of oomph to your song. Yeah, sing your song, Now, I can't remember. Again, I heard the notes and I was like, oh, I know this song. But if I'm trying to play it in my head, no, it's not happening. And that's the Taruk root. It's not happening. So, let's take a look at what this particular song did on the charts. And... Balamo. It went to number one in Australia, number eight in Belgium, number eight on the Canada Top Singles, number four in the Netherlands Dutch Top 40, number seven on the Netherlands Single Top 100, number 45 in the UK, number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100, number 49 on the U.S. Adult Contemporary, number 8 on the U.S. Cashbox Top 100, and number 11 on the U.S. Record World. So that's pretty good considering, like, you know, I never heard or I didn't know the, the, uh, the, the name of the group, but the song must resonate with people because number one in Australia, 13 on the Billboard Hot 100. You know, as much as you would think that, you know, it must be easy to get a hit. No, it's not. You, you know, you might have record companies, you know, 
promoting certain people and paying off certain people to, to please play my song or doing the whole Master P thing where you go out and you buy a whole bunch of your albums at one particular time because you have the money to do so and then all of a sudden you get to the top of the charts because now all of a sudden you have a lot of record sales. You know what? People have been been manipulating the system forever so I can't be mad at them you know they're they're on their grind they're on their hustle you know it is what it is so if you like videos like this and others on the channel please don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the notification button because I'm doing at least 10 videos each and every week and if you've never heard this song before or you have a memory about this song please leave a comment down below I would love to hear from you and if you don't know I answer all of my comments whether it be a like or I will actually make a comment uh, unless you're a, a right winger and you want to talk about number 45 uh, or that one video that I don't talk about I won't comment on that but otherwise I will comment on the video so without any further ado here are the babies and isn't it time I have never known anyone who actually believed that I was enough until I met you. And then you made me believe it too. Falling in love was the last thing I had on my mind Holding you is a warmth that I thought I could never find Just trying to I've seen visions of someone like you in my life A love that's strong, reaching out, holding me through the darkest night Just trying to decide I feel a warmth in my heart and my soul that I never knew This love affair gives me strength that I need just to get me through
All right, so that was Isn't It Time? And here's the one thing that I do know about this particular video. What I know is that Andre Kraut singers were not in the video. They are, their voices are heard and there are two white females up front. But I did see a part, another video um, that didn't have really, really good quality where it actually had the Bad Bats or, or the from the ones from the Andre Crouch. So, you know, I know Top Pop. I like Top Pop and sometimes I don't. I know that Top, Top Pop will sometimes force people to uh, have people there or top of the pops used to do that as well but um i'm sure he wanted to make it look full and I, he probably couldn't get them to go over to europe to do this particular performance which is okay i you know it's way before you know cnc music factory and black box were trying to portray uh you know a skinny black woman when it was a a bigger black woman who was singing the the hook and everything else like that that was giving the, those songs like you know everybody everybody and it gonna make you sweat you know all those songs that was giving them that little extra mm, and then she sued them and you know what so it is it is what it is it had a definite kind of r&b sound with the bass and i didn't know john wayne played bass and it ha it definitely had a 70s sound uh you know, almost like, it almost had a had an early 70s song as a late 70s song. But, you know, it, it honestly, this is almost a first time reaction because I only knew that beginning piano part. The other part of the song, I did not know at all. And I'm being honest, you know me, keeping it real. I didn't know any of it. So, you know, there is no lip syncing for me. You know I love the lip sync or you know I love to sing. So there wasn't any of that for me. But I do like John Wade's voice. I do like how it sounded. I can understand how it resonated with people. And you know what? So if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.